What's going on fellow fixers? Today's video is all about hanging a porch swing on our back porch. We found this used uh, porch swing. It needed to have all the paint stripped off of it and repainted, which I've done. And now it's time to figure out how to attach it to the ceiling so that it doesn't pull everything down. And it's kind of an involved, it was more work than I was anticipating I was gonna do, but I think it's a good solution. So I'm gonna show you what I did. All right, so here in Florida, if you can see up here, we usually use soffit on these screened-in porches because it just weathers so much better than uh, wood would do. You don't have to paint it, it sort of lasts forever. Um, but I'll show you what I did here. Uh, you can see that um, the trusses go this way, left and right. And so I knew that I did not want to attach um, that swing directly to uh, the trusses. I wanted to put something a little more substantial. So what I ended up doing was putting these 4x4s on joist hangers between two trusses. Now you're going to think at first that I cut through a truss on both of these, but I did not. Those are actually just uh, pieces that we put on there. You can see sort of how those are attached there just with 2x4s, uh, just those middle pieces, just so we would have something to screw to. All right, so I didn't really explain that very well. What I was trying to say in that video is the trusses are 24 inches on center. And so in order to put that soffit up there so that it wouldn't sag, we put those divider two by fours um, all the way through the house whenever we built it so that we would actually be able to um, attach that soffit every 12 inches. And we had to do that because on the outside of that porch, the trusses actually go the other way. And so if we hadn't done that, uh, then we would have had spaces where we wouldn't be able to attach the soffit uh, in a uniform pattern. So that's sort of why we did that. Hope that explains it a little better. And that's why I was able to cut through those and reattach them to uh, those 4x4s. Four it's just because all it was really supporting was the weight of those uh, soffit pieces. So let's get back to it. And so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and, and put this next piece of soffit back up. And then I'm going to drill straight through the soffit and through that 4x4 and put a lag bolt uh, into it so that I can hang that swing from it. So getting the soffit put back in was actually probably one of the most difficult parts of this whole job. Uh, just trying to get everything lined back up whenever you're starting in the middle is, is sometimes a challenge. Uh, and these are 12 foot pieces with the width of the porch is 12 foot so it might be 11 five long pieces and so what I was doing is getting it snapped in and getting one screw started and then I was able to go um, all the way down the rest of it and get it all attached uh, on that second piece um, what I actually did was uh, have my wife come out and just get on another ladder and and hold it up and that just made it a whole lot easier but I'm actually screwing into the exact same screw holes that I removed it uh, if I didn't do it that way then I would have troubles getting everything lined up perfectly so keep that in mind so here you can see just having a second set of hands to help um, hold up the sagging part of these long pieces made just a world of difference so just keep that in mind. Uh, have somebody give you a hand. Basically have two flaps hanging here and hanging here. And the reason being those four by fours are here and here. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and through bolt them. And then I'll be able to seal that roof up. Whew, it is hot out here. I think it's 90 degrees here in Florida today. This is what I'm putting up there. These are rated for 300 pounds each. And I'm going to drill a hole through that 4x4, put this washer on, put a lock washer on, and then a nut. Some of you might be tempted to go ahead and just, just drill right through a truss. I just don't. I mean, you look at the width of that, and a truss is only an uh, inch and a half wide anyway. It's just going to take too much out. I didn't want to do that. So I had to go through all this work of putting those 4x4s with joist hangers up there. But... I think it's going to be better in the long run. So let's go ahead and drill it out. I got to find a bit that size and we'll get her done. All right, so I made sure to measure where that 4x4 was going to go and where I needed to drill through. And it was 20 inches off of this wall and 34 inches off the back wall. There 
go. All right, so the hardest part of this whole process is getting uh, this soffit to snap back together, and there's sort of an art to it, and I'm going to try to do it. It's going to be hard for me to show you how I do it. I'm basically using this tool, which I can put a link in the description, but you can get them anywhere. Lowe's has them, Home Depot has them. But you have to basically pry it back on the little lip while pushing up and then let go and it'll sort of catch so let me see if I can show you all right I'm using this uh, nylon coated bar that's rated for 340 pounds so there'll be two of those so I got about what is that, 680 pounds, almost 700 pounds of weight that it'll hold. Essentially, you just loop it around this metal thing, and then you get these this clamp on it, and just tighten it down. All right, so here's a word of caution. Make sure that you get a wrench and tighten up those nuts. I wish I would have got it on film, but I didn't. I, was, I got it all put together. I was swinging on the swing, and... I hit the ground. Now, thankfully, I didn't injure myself or anybody else, but I relied solely on that drill to tighten down those nuts, and I forgot to go back with a wrench and make sure they were really tightened down snug. So that's just a word of caution. I ended up putting two of those nuts on either side of those rope chains, uh, but biggest thing, probably if you just make sure you tighten those up really well, you won't have any issues. So that's just my word of caution. There you go. Now, all I gotta do is cut this about where I want it. All right, there's one chain on. Now I just gotta do the other one. All right, fixers, there you have it. I got a swing, it's working. You can see what I did here with the chains. Those bolts aren't coming out of the ceiling and we got a swing. I think this will make my wife happy, I hope. Happy wife, happy life. Check out this video and I'll see you on the next one.